They three was here. They the three was here. We ain't be thinking because people be following his lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And with trap gone, uh, it's a new wave coming through. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. So if if I, I thought about something the other day when I was thinking, about it, I said if Mo three was uh, uh, still here. What do you think he'll think about the Dallas music scene? We'll be bigger than that. They gonna follow the way. They gotta speed it up. They gonna follow the way though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, if three was heard, it was still it'd be bigger because they have somebody to look up to. They need we need yeah yeah. I ain't talking about his music. Bro. They, 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 I don't think they go, but he's entertaining. Like he entertaining. Like some of my new rappers, I'm like bro. Y'all don't even post. You ain't go live, nigga. Mm. What do you think you gonna do? I had to tell a nigga the other day. Go tell me. Uh, I think we gonna do like that. Bro, you ain't even got a million views. Damn. The fuck is you talking about? It's time to hustle. Yeah, yeah. He, so, you know, at the end of the day, if three was her, then you know, three was her, we ain't gonna be thinking because people be following his lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And with Trap gone, uh, it's a new wave coming through. See, I just follow my lead. It's a new wave. It's yeah. a new wave coming through. Yeah, it's a, it's a new wave. It's gonna it's gonna be. What what do you what do you first see? Like like, I want to see a real like a solid. When you like see a female artist come up out of D town, that'd be hard. Cause we ain't never really just had no like we we had Erica of course. Man, if, we, if I could find a, a if I could find a Hispanic Mexican woman that could talk to she. That'd be good. Have so you like, been looking for one? Yeah, you know, you'll follow my lap. Like you a, know, you got to go to all them strip clubs because you have a lot of insp aspiring rappers in no them strip clubs. I don't want no stripper. You don't? Hell no. The stripper ain't going to know how to stay down. You don't, but you just want you just want a regular girl who can spit. Yeah. I'm talking about this shit. Can she jug, though? But like if she in the streets, like trying to do little hustles. And that ain't going to work. <laughs> you got to get out the streets. Yeah, it ain't going to work. <laughs> I'd rather fuck work at Walmart. Let me ask you something, and I know you know how how today's time is. Like DJ Academics, man, I, I have to bring him up because I've been talking about him lately. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Sausage Santana, you know, threatening him. Oh, the gay dude, the, yeah, the, the gay he, dude, yeah, the big gay dude. He wasn't. He That's had no a big old gay, gay nigga. That's what I'm saying. What do you think? What would you do if you was put in that situation? Put the gay dude. Yeah, well, a gay dude attack you verbally and say he want to, you know, beat you up and have sex with you and all kind of stuff. And see, I don't know. See, let me tell y'all the story, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm terrified of the whole of, of gay niggas. Have you ever been hit on? Nah, but I'm like, <laughs> one thing about gay niggas, they fight hard. Yeah. Especially a big old fat nigga, they fight hard. Mother love, I knew one. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they, they love, fight hard. Mother man. love will beat yeah, your ass. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And they got nothing to lose. They got so much anger built up inside <laughs> of them. Like, that's the worst thing to do is, is come across a gay nigga that that, 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 that want to fight. So somebody. when you seen him threatening him, what did you, what did you think? With well, the gay like, nigga threatening him? Don't do nothing. Don't yeah, do nothing. ain't do nothing about the gay nigga. He still, he crying. Sit here and act like I know I'm in, I'm in America. I got to sit here and just act like. He crying. I actually got emotional. Yeah. Academics, that hurt him, man. I'm trying not to get canceled, but this shit does bother me. Yeah. See, let me tell y'all a story. Say, them type of gay dudes, I kind of respect because they're going to be yourself. It's the undercover. See, one day we had a show, right? We had a show down in the Texas Relay. So we all was in a hotel. And, they, and we often get on the bus because, you know, at certain times people are performing. So I'm looking for Old Boy Prince, right? Yeah. And Old uh, Boy Prince. Yeah. yeah C4S. Yeah, C4S. C4S. Yeah, I'm looking for Old Boy Prince. I'm like, I'm like, the fuck is he here? You know what I'm saying? So they calling me like, where he is, where he is. I'm like, I'm looking for him. I'm trying to look for him. So I'm going from room to room. So boom. I end up going to uh, the suite that we had, right? And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to open the door. Damn. So I see hair paint in there, right with his shirt off. And when I open the door, the room, the whole room smells like pure ass. Right? What the hell? <laughs> it, pure ass. And old boy Prince came out, came out like, like fixing himself. What the fuck? Is going on? <laughs> look at my wife looking at Rain. Look how she's looking at. Why are you looking at her like that, baby? Look how she's looking. And now that's a true story. This is a true story. <laughs> my wife looking at you like, so what the I, hell are you saying? So I shut the door, and I kind of hit that, and I said, 
I think somebody just got hit with the stanky leg. Oh man, this nigga. Whatever. <laughs> you don't believe you. Why would why you, you say that about why, why, why are you coming for old boy Prince? Why are you coming for old boy Prince? Cuz, let me tell you. And a half pint. <laughs> That's true story. And a half pint. Is, uh, I, okay, okay. Where's the proof? That's where's true the story. video? Why going for that proof? <laughs> where's the videotape? Well, I'm gonna, what, I'm going to tape it? Yeah, psh, why not? This, this, you no, ain't got no proof no, except from what you said. No, no, I can't tape it. Listen. I'll tell you about old boy Prince. Cool guy, but he, see, that's, that's 10 y'all years ago. Y'all talked over here. Now, I seen hey, y'all you, talking. You seen him talking to me, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah he so talk to I you. set him up. I said something on a plat- platform, and I just sat back and see what he going to do, right? What did and you say? I said, I told a nigga, the nigga said, uh, where you get this publishing from? I said, I've been getting publishers since the stanky leg. Just not saying you're yeah. getting publishers yeah. from the stanky leg yeah, before. Yeah, since stanky leg, since, since gutter bitch, since all that, right? So he got on there saying Rainwater's lying. He don't get none of our publishing, right? And I set him up for that. Because now you needed my help and you asked me for my help because the chick that you just got, you ran out of, right? So the young artists need to understand because they're getting lead by a third. What do you mean chick that you just his got? His chick. He, got, he just sold a song, a single deal. That with Mike Prince. Chick? Who? That, Mike uh, Prince. The, the, the chick. Right. Oh, the chick. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. said chick. No, no. The, okay. A chick with Mike Prince uh, okay. with a song. That's right? when she walked. Yeah. 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 It's gone. The money gone. Yeah, so boom. So, you know, when he seen me there at the door, he was begging me and asking me to help his artists. And, you know, one artist over there, I want to sign. Yeah, Because I know. I, know I can I know I can get them a deal ASAP. You know what I'm saying? But see, what it is is the young artists got to understand who can help them, who can not help them. See, right now, they're following the lead. They following the lead behind Old Boy Prince. They're not. He not. He ain't set them. He ain't helped them set up. Get no BMIs, no publishing chick, no none of that. He's putting everything in his uh, ass cap and BMI and just running through his own channel. So at the end of the day, and it's no problem. But you fucking these young kids. These kids are. Uh, you got a clique full of stars. But you. But they're around you as a promotion team to help you make money. You're a 35 year old dancing TikTok rapper. You need to just manage or assign people and teach them the game so you don't end up like they don't end up like you. Because basically the song that you got you sold the song for with Mike Prince, what's the song called? Mouse you Mouse. actually you Mike, Mike Fresh you Mike Fred, Mike Fred. You actually use them just for TikTok promotions. You got all them kids over there, and so you use them to all them dance off your song to blow your song up to where it's at. I mean, that's cool, but you got you got a clique full of people that's under 23, 24, 25, I mean 22, 23 years old. Man, if you give them a chance, they they the new they the new eyes of Dallas. They are. But I think with with the way he push and promote them, he does a lot. Like they wouldn't a lot of those dances, a lot of those concepts, the lot the drive. I've seen, you know, when Joker was with them and then Joker went with Carl, of course, but I'm just saying they look like they're working. They are making uh, different people uh, see them. Okay, I understand that, but it's what, what, what different people were. Like TikTok. It, okay, and all okay, okay. They, they got a lot of followers. If you got uh, followers and, and chicks, it's totally different. We got to stop thinking so small in the city of Dallas. And listen, they, they, if, they, they, if, they, if a person sit there and see them and say, I am not a rapper. I am 100% behind them. You just got a six-figure chick that you told me about today. I would have blew 75, 100, or 75 to 100,000 on just them. Because I know what they could become. But sometimes in the city of that I see right now, a lot of people don't have no leadership in being led, and a lot of people don't even have no managers. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we got to stop being so small thinking and think about, and, and, and sit back and think about the world. You understand know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because because them being TikTok promotion for every song that you drop is it, is not gonna help the culture. You are 35 years old. 35 years old and still want to be the front line of a dancing group. You only see that in Dallas. You going to high school, 35 years old, you popping your hips with them. You need to sit back with a suit and tie and say, yeah, I used to, I used to, I used to have a sacred leg song. How y'all doing this and that? This is my group right here. That's why I be so mad about the situation. So people be like, oh, he, you be hating on people. Nah, I don't be hating on people. I know because if your group can, can can blow up and Big X can blow up, the next time somebody blow up, I'm charging $5 million or $10 million because this the, this the hottest city going This the hottest thing going on in the city. 
Wow. But with them keep on having viral videos viral, after viral. viral. Listen, hold uh-huh. on. Uh-huh. Viral after viral, right? Because everybody's watching social media, even the big corporations and companies. So for them to know who to sign, if they watching and seeing this, this person going viral all the time, don't you think that that's putting no, their eyes no, on no, them? No, no, no. They come in for single deals. He took a six-figure single deal instead of having the mind frame of six, uh, having a, 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 a six-figure or seven-figure Label deal, okay. For wow. everybody, that's the difference. I would sit there and say, "Why would you take this single deal when you got a click full of stars?" You Maybe have a, that's the only thing that was on the table. No, 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 no. You can negotiate. You can talk, but 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 if they teach, treat you like a peon, it's like me walking hotel room with a girl and say, "Okay, I got five hundred dollars," and she take that instead of saying, "I don't want your money. I want to." I want to be with you. Now, if she tricked me to be with me and be in partnership with me, then she might get $500 a day. From doing shopping to steaks to, to flying, flying across the world. But you took this $500 because you thought this $500 was a shit. Not knowing I got a bank account with seven figures, but you took, you took damn near three figures. Mm-hmm. Thinking it was shit. So you should sit there and say, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a click full of stars. I need everybody come through. Not no hundred thousand dollars. He told me that I took. I got a six figure deal, man. At least I blow six figures a month. Wow. You know what I'm saying? To, to get to get to the point where I need to go. So at the end day, come on, we got to think bigger because that, that's the first thing y'all see. At Dallas, people they went viral. The fuck is that? Yeah, they went viral. <laughs> Stop. What the fuck is that? <laughs> listen, we gotta stop saying that. We gotta stop saying. Listen, going viral is cool, but we we just we just came off the biggest run the Dallas Tech's ever seen. We got Cash Page back here. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.